don't get it, man. Why is it we go to the same school for four years, I do better than you, and meanwhile you're making like a bajillion dollars a month, and I am quite literally begging for my job on street corners. I mean, there is one more option. <sighs> yeah, no. Ben, do you want a job or Kyle, not? No. I'm just saying it might be time to try talking to you. Dad's Friends is a, it's a six part web series uh, and it's about a recent graduate named Ben Hurwitz uh, who comes to New York after school in Chicago um, and he's looking for a job in the entertainment industry behind the scenes. Uh, but the only problem is that he doesn't have any connections other than the friends of his dentist father. So the series kind of tracks Ben on interview after interview with these awful people uh, that you know his dad kind of teed up for him and uh, and disaster ensues. So the series kind of came about uh, when I graduated uh, from Northwestern and then moved out here. A lot of my friends moved out here. Alex had been uh, in, in New York at, at NYU, but we were all kind of just fresh out and uh, unemployed uh, and uh, wanting to, to do something, but it's very hard to, to actually have kind of a, a hookup in, in the industry. I was working uh, as a correspondent for MTV and that had just fallen through. Uh, and so we were all, a lot of my friends were, were kind of just like scrambling to, to do something creative. Uh, so the idea came about uh, to do a web series and I knew I wanted to do this web series because our other co-creator, uh, my roommate Austin uh, and I uh, were talking about the friends of our, of our family trying to get us jobs and we had made a Twitter account called Your Dad's Friends. Um, but I decided let's take that and, and make it, uh, you know, an adaptable um, web series. And so that's when it came about. So I wrote the episodes, uh, Alex directed them, uh, and then the three of us essentially produced it uh, together. Hello. Hi, Dad. Hey, Ben. How you doing? I'm okay, thanks. Nothing's in the barrio, Bubby. I, I live in Midtown. Do, do you even know where the barrio is? Well, I don't know where it isn't. All right, so you know I've been looking for a job in the business. Ah, he finally comes around. Dad, you say that like... Like you should have been the first person I asked for a job in the entertainment industry. That's right. I should have been. You're a dentist. Yes. My role as Ben is, is semi-autobiographical. It's my dad's not a dentist, but my grandfather's a dentist. Um, and everybody does kind of look to their parents for some sort of contacts because everybody needs a foot in the door. Uh, so while I certainly didn't go through the trials and tribulations that, that Ben does, um, I'd be lying if I said I didn't get a few emails from my dad trying to hook me up with a buddy of his that doesn't do something that I'm interested in. The hedge fund manager got us together today and he told us that he was dropping our bonuses from 55,000 to 45. Oh what are you looking for? I just, I forgot where I kept the tiny violins. Okay. Give me all your dicks! Oh, don't hurt. Hey girl. I thought you were mugging me. I asked you for all your dicks. Well, I don't know, it all happened so fast. Kyle is my roommate. He's a Wall Street kind of financier type um, who we, we went to college together and now are living in the city together. Uh, and he's a little bit more, you know, he's the most absurd character, I would, I would say, on, yeah, on the show. Yeah, he's many people's favorite character. Yeah, I guess so. We need to get the bobbleheads in the merch, really. Uh, yeah. The Kyle merch. Jeez. But, uh, My favorite. Yeah, Kyle, he's great. And he's played by my, uh, one of my best friends, Ryan Nunn. Um, like I said, a lot of our, my friends came out to New York from Chicago. Uh, and so I peppered them uh, in throughout the series. Isabel, who's the... Uh, his girlfriend in episode one, and then Marie, who I go on a date slash interview with in episode three, and then Allie, who I go on a date uh, and the Vincent interview with in episode uh, six. Hey, thank you, by the way, for taking me up on this whole thing. Oh, don't say thank you. It sounds like I'm doing you a favor. Well, I'm sorry. You have to understand, I'm not typically the one in my apartment with the romantic prospects. Uh-oh. Hot roommate? It's pretty scalding. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I do get a few glances on the trend here and there. It's just mostly guys and the occasional lesbian. Yeah, you do have a Rachel Maddow thing going on. Really? Yeah. She's taller than you, though. Very nice. <laughs> We were trying to think of, you know, what kind of, you know, guest stars could we have on the series. And I guess we were kind of brainstorming different people. And I guess I was thinking that Richard Kind, like, I don't know, just in the brainstorming would be really fun to have on the show. And Aaron, 
said that Richard Kind was his dad's friend. So anyway, Ben, what can I do for you? What do you need from me? Well, just about any kind of opportunity in TV production or film production would be great. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, but I'm going to tell you something. There's going to be people lined up serving you pearls of wisdom about the biz and the... It's all bullshit. Pardon? It's bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. I guess you could say the whole thing was, uh, was a challenge, kind of, in that, um, you know, it was... It was a really long shoot, like four, 14, 15 days, um, and since we were like producing it ourselves, we didn't have like a huge crew, uh, just a lot of people to keep track of, a lot of um, uh, a lot of cast, a lot of crew, a lot of you know props, uh, costumes. Um, a big thing, I guess, was we decided to shoot it out of order. We shot out uh, based on locations. So we shot all the scenes in the apartment and all the scenes in the de dentist office all on uh, the same days. And so, then we did um, three days in, in Westfield. Yeah, we did three days in Westfield. So it's mainly like trying to tell the story of each of the episodes, but just scene by scene, completely separate. Um, but. You know, in the end, it uh, it worked out. I think we overcame that challenge. So, so he's another challenge of shooting out of sequence is sometimes you have to watch out for like continuity errors. Um, sure. Yeah. Good one. Yeah, like like scene by scene, uh, things can change. Like a character has a prop in one scene, and then like he doesn't have Where's it in the next. Prop? Where's the prop? Uh, sometimes with costumes, like one character uh, could be wearing one costume, and then in the next scene, uh, if if you like for, forget what he was wearing, he's wearing something else. It will look inconsistent and weird. But and let's be honest, like, you know, we're not amateurs. Yeah, no, we we didn't have any problems like that, or at least not, not that I saw. You think I'm here to mow your lawn? Well, I don't know what you're here for, dressed like a gay madman. I'm not dressed like a gay madman. You are a gay madman. I'm not a gay madman, but thank <laughs> you. All right, I'll stop by, but Dad, I don't know about this suit. Hopefully at some point we will be able to do a second season. That really becomes a question of funding and stuff. We kind of left the first season on a note where if we wanted to do another few episodes, we could. Uh, and if we don't have, you know, if it's fiscally impossible, we can't do it. But um, down the line, I'd love to, to shoot some more. Yeah. I mean, we've talked to a few people about possibly getting finance for a second season, but right now it's kind of all up in the air. Um, but yeah, I mean, all the time we, we talk about how fun it would be to do a second season, who we would bring back, who would be some new people. There are some people who we wanted to get for the first season that we couldn't, that maybe we'll try to get for the second season if that happens. Uh, so yeah, that'd be really fun. Yeah.